If you don't know who Dorinda Jones is, you're missing out on an amazing author. So check out her link below and buy some of her books. <laughs> on my pages um what famous author I should try to write like and it was a three-way tie between Dorinda Jones, Ernest Hemingway, and Jane Austen. So we're starting with Dorinda Jones which means this is gonna look a little different than my usual vlogs. Why? Well because starting out at six o'clock at night is definitely different for me. I'll also link below the uh, article that I got the information from for this video. I did speak to Dorinda Jones and she said that since COVID her writing routine has changed a little bit in that she writes with friends on Zoom most days. I'm not going to do that simply because my person that I usually write with on Zoom had a death in the family and so she's not available. In the interview with Dorinda that I linked below, she said that she usually sleeps in and gets the housekeeping done early, meaning social media, emails, things like that. Since I don't have any of those, I'm gonna start my housekeeping by com continuing my outline and then setting up my Scrivener. I've got my coffee, which if you know anything about Dorinda Jones, you know coffee is essential. And my water. Uh, one of the big things Dorinda mentioned in the article is that she makes sure she has everything near her so that she doesn't have to get up for anything unnecessary. So I've got my coffee, I've got my water, and I've got a snack. Looks great, doesn't it? Lemon cake and strawberries, yum. I've got my notepad, which is, Dorinda mentioned sticky notes, but I used to do sticky notes and they get everywhere. <laughs> so notepad and my big book of baby names. So if I have to name any additional characters. And all of my fantastic markers and pens for my outline. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. Okay, outline done, strawberries are gone, and Scrivener is created. So that means it's time to get writing. As you saw, I went through my candles and tried to select one that I thought was appropriate. Um, since it's Dorinda, I thought uh, watermelon lemonade would be a good choice. And in keeping with that theme, I have some watermelon gum because in the article, Dorinda said chewing gum helps her concentrate. And the last thing that Dorinda said on the video or in the article was that she puts on coffee shop ambiance videos. So we're going to pick one. Since this is a evening writing session, I think I'm going to pick Coffee Fall, Cozy Fall Coffee Shop Ambiance, Relaxing Jazz Music and Rain Sounds.
7 o'clock and I have to say there is something to Dorinda's idea of chewing gum while writing. I have never had that smooth of a writing session, especially in the beginning of the first draft. I don't know if it was the chewing of the gum or the jazz music or the coffee shop sounds. I don't know what it was, but that was so much fun and so smooth. I didn't even really know how this story was going to begin. I knew where I wanted it to begin, but I didn't really know what was going to happen in the scene. So I don't know where the hell any of this stuff came from, but wow. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, a couple other things that Dorinda mentioned in the interview was that she has to use, well, she doesn't have to, but she chooses to use apps that um, make it so she can't look at her phone so she can focus. Now, I record these videos on my phone, so that wasn't a necessity for me because the recording of the video was making it so I couldn't touch my phone. Um, but I will say that I do find when I record these videos and things, that I do concentrate better because I do not have my phone to check Facebook and Instagram and, you know, text messaging and everything like that. I do think as much as I loved the coffee shop aesthetic and the jazz music and everything, I do still think I write better with a television show on. Just because, as you saw, I was getting like a little dancey kind of moving that really distracts me more than a TV show does. Especially if it's a TV show I've seen a million times, which today I'm back to another rewatch of Golden Girls. Dorinda mentioned that she likes to work late into the night and that's why she sleeps in. I don't know how late I'm going to be able to work, but I'm definitely going to keep going on this trajectory and see how it goes. So far I've got 400 words. I'm hoping to hit a thousand for the night, so we'll see how that goes. I gotta say though, between the watermelon gum and the watermelon candle, it smells delicious in this room. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to work and see if I can hit that a thousand words. Wish me luck. Before I get started on my next round of writing, I have to ask, why do all of these have jazz music? Every single coffee shop ambiance has jazz music. Weird. And just like that, I hit a thousand words in an hour and a half. That is insane for me. I think Dorinda's found the sweet spot of writing. And I think I might actually steal some of her ideas. But that's okay. We're friends. She'll understand. So I'm going to do more of these Write Like Famous Author videos. As I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to also do Hemingway and Jane Austen. Now Jane Austen is going to be exclusively for my Patreon, for my patrons. But I will be doing Hemingway on YouTube. Hemingway's routine is quite m more e in extensive than Dorinda's. Um, Dorinda's was actually the least complicated of the three and then Hemingway falls in the middle and Jane Austen is really extensive which is part of the reason why Jane Austen is going to be on my Patreon. It's going to be a considerably longer video so if you like longer videos head on over to Patreon and sign up for the Roses and Bloom tier so you can see the exclusive videos every month. It's also going to be 
it's going to involve a lot more. What she shared about her writing routine was all inclusive. So she was shared about when she wrote, how she wrote, what she drank, what she ate, everything about her entire day. So that's that's going to be an interesting video. So if you're interested in that, like I said, head on over to Patreon and sign up. The link is in the description. And let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to the Hemingway video. And if you would like to see it where I am talking like this and then implementing the routine or vlog style. So let me know in the comments which one you which one you'd prefer. If there's other famous authors you want to suggest that I write like and make a video, let me know that in the comments as well. Well, this has been fun uh, having something a little different doing this in the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.